good morning you guys literally just wake up and i woke up feeling super duper tired i don't know how that happened but yeah so can't be bothered with the get ready process so i saw a trick that has been going around have you have you guys heard about it yeah it's like a uh, instant get ready magic so i'm gonna try it this morning and see if it works for me yeah so this is the magic one that they have so let me see if it works for me it doesn't work for me <laughs> let me go get ready the regular way y'all because it didn't work for me guys Shut this morning guess why guess why i'm actually going out i'm going out of the house today you guys and that is oh, you wouldn't understand how important that is for you guys who are still working i mean i normally work from home anyway but at the same time on the weekends i would be out and about you know so but now with the fact that, you know, we're on a qu quarantine or whatever you call it, we um, pretty much are confined to home. So today, you guys, I'm going out. Hey, hey. Anyway, I'm going to the post office, you guys. <laughs> yes, I'm going to the post office. So I have three orders to ship. Um... I got some orders um, from my my website and I am going to fulfill them today going to the the post office and what we do is in order to just use that as, as our little workout um, opportunity we walk to the post office so yeah I'm just starting off with my morning routine for my face and guys Lord I love to tell you guys things that are working for me. So, I've been using this L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid. You can't see the writing down here, but it's... Alright, let me show you the box, because y'all need to know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So, this is it. It's the 1.5... Yeah, right here. It's not focused. But anyway, it's the Revital Lift Hyaluronic Acid, the 1.5% strength. And I've been using that in conjunction with the, the L'Oreal Vitamin C Serum, the 10% Vitamin C Serum. And you guys, let me tell you how I know that this thing has been working because I've been using regular moisturizers for a little bit. I did have some serums before by number seven, that brand, and it was good. But like when I tell you that the results from this particular, these two particular products are almost immediate, you would not believe me. No, I have a frown line here, or I had a frown line here that was super obvious. Like, even if I wasn't making a facial expression, you would see, like, a crease right here. And I noticed that it has disappeared. So, what I do is, twice a day, I use these products. 
like in the morning i just wash my face in the mornings i do not use soap i just wash it with plain water and i get like three drops of this the hyaluronic acid and this is good for um wrinkles yeah the hyaluronic acid is actually good for um reducing wrinkles and you know replumping your skin so i just add that to the face upward direction and up here and trust me guys i've been concentrating on the forehead because the forehead not that i'm a miserable person let me tell you that straight up i'm not miserable but my face always you know doing the most like i'm overly expressive so i'll be doing this all the time like really really yeah this really so this is what i have permanently or had permanently and these products you guys remember i told you mm -mm. the only thing now i can't use it it doesn't recommend using it around the eyes i have dark circles but yeah it doesn't recommend use it so i need to get me a eye cream so if you have any recommendations for eye cream let me know i may try their eye cream and just stick to one line because i like doing that all right so now the vitamin c and the vitamin c serum is known or is good for um improving radiance and getting rid of wrinkles too so i guess both of them together are on a a, a mission to, to reduce my wrinkles guys and it's been working all right so i'm putting that on and then putting that on and then what i do is go in with my my regular daily moisturizer this is the day cream by number seven and this is their lift and illuminate day cream and it has spf 30 so yeah just go in with that by right i'm supposed to allow or i like to allow the serums to sit for a couple minutes before i go in with this but ain't nobody got time for that this morning and of course can go without your car mix surprising little little boy decided that he wanted to go with us because he is a homebody but I guess him getting tired of the house so it's all three of us hitting the road to go to the post office today yay so I am all masked up Joshua masked up 
Mind the obby, mask we a mask out, mask out, <laughs> and them kids say that we pass out, pass out. A mask we a mask out, mask out, and them kids say that we pass out, pass out. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to breathe. I don't know about anybody else, but it's I find hard. it hard. Well, not hard, but it feels annoying. But you feel annoying, Joshua. We have to do what we have to do. Does that feel annoying to you, Josh? No. No? No. <laughs> I guess it's just me. So we decided to come to our local Jamaican grocery store because we need some um, oxtails and maybe some and <laughs> maybe We'll adjust with the facilitation really, you know. Yeah, I think about that. it because I mean if them set a rules say boy, no mask, no entry. Yeah. We, we we know we know we know we're not buying to them system but we, we want entry. We know, we know, <laughs> and that's why it's in the light say they were go telling me I'm gonna say no and me just left over, but that's my thing that's but then but then for instance. No mask, not, not no mask, no mask, but back yourself. True, true, and I could, but you know, at the same time, we may try to find out where, 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 where will it end? It starts that mask, it's more than the vaccine. Mm-hmm. But I said that, though. All right. Again, we still, we still. So, what they're doing is, they have a sign on the door that says, no face mask, no entry. No more than five customers at a time. Alright? So these are some of the changes that um, are occurring as a result of the the pandemic. We will close at 6 p.m. Monday to Thursday and Saturday we will close at 7. They usually close at about 8 in the weekday and I think 9. So yeah, life changing up in our guys. So we were talking to this gentleman and he refuses to put on a mask so we don't know if they're going to send him in. He's like he's not going to um, conform to the system because it's a conspiracy and yada yada yada. And um, it's arguable but if you want to shop you just have to comply. So the thing set. Hey, my Jamaican our Caribbean grocery store is lit. They actually sell roasted breadfruit with peel already. Kind of expensive still, but it's convenient. So I might get a piece. Yeah, I might get this. It looked turned. And I bought some callaloo. My callaloo and breadfruit. Yeah. Um, the more fresh mint. I might get some fresh mint. Do you want fresh mint? No? Yes, you want it. Make one. Duh. And tambourine. But I'm scared to buy the tambourine. What if them, um, them sour? This hot, you know, guys. This just gross. It feel hot. Mm, 
no orange. This is this like the third place. Okay, this is like the third place we've been to, and no orange. I don't understand that. All right, so we're going to buy a couple patties every time we we'll come to this particular plaza. We'll come to our favorite patty place, but in the look packish. I'm not really in it, you know. Oh, it's not pack. It's empty. So we couldn't bother wait, so we leave. Plus, we have food at home. So we made good sense prevail, and we're gonna go home and eat what we have. It's pandemic time, quarantine time. Have a ban your belly and ball. Yeah. So this is the new norm you guys once i come from the, the grocery store it's tedious but i have to sanitize the entire um stack of groceries so i just use a a damp paper towel sometimes i use the those sanitation or sanitizing wipes to wipe them down but i pretty much wipe everything down and probably this is something that we should have been doing even before a pandemic <laughs> pepper shrimp these little baby small tiny shrimp they're nice very spicy crunchy it's just a, a little snack that I used to have back home when I saw it over the Jamaican store and I had to have it yeah pepper shrimp it's one of those Mondays that we don't have to cook we call it what Sunday Monday so this is pork and guys we really don't eat pork this is the first in over a year or two since we eating a piece of like just a piece of authentic pork we, Me not, no. we eat probably the pig byproduct sometimes but we stopped eating pork altogether but just like liver and um other kind of organ meat we eat them like once or twice a year and we still we, we will we will live we're not gonna dead we not eat none and then we have some curry goat here rice and peas and salad <laughs> why that look for him the husband said not eat none but hey i'll show you his plate when i'm finished you'll be the judge so guys i didn't end up vlogging much after dinner Oh, what did I do after dinner? I was pretty much watching TV after dinner and then I had a Zoom meeting at 8 and that pretty much took almost 2 hours. So it's the end of the night and I'm going to get a late night snack and go to my bed. So stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for following my journey go ahead and subscribe rate like drop a comment yeah and until next time we will talk Oopsies.